On June 16, 2013, 100,000 bikers from around the world celebrating 110 years of Harley-Davidson will be in Rome and at the Vatican to be blessed by the Antichrist Francis. One wonders if he will cancel when he discovers they have all been contacted by our saints, telling them he has arrested Pope Benedict XVI and is trying to kill him because he wrote an apostolic letter informing the world Salvatore Mundi is back, the saviour of the world. Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, the Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh. The sunrise to sunset for Rome on that date is 913 minutes and is from Hebrew 1301 from 1300 mean, meaning lightning. Daniel 10.6 His body also was like the beryl and his face as the appearance of lightning and his eyes as lamps of fire and his arms and his feet like in colour to polished brass and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. 913 in the Greek dictionary is barak. Francis will be 39, 39 weeks old on June 16th and that number in the Hebrew dictionary to mean supposed to mean to curse wormwood regarded as poisonous and therefore accursed hemlock wormwood found once in Revelation 8.11 and the name of the star is called wormwood and the third part of the waters became wormwood and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter Pope Benedict XVI will be 86.17 years from in the Hebrew dictionary from 6965 which is resistfulness or power to stand I will be 69.43 and in Hebrew is to sanctify, consecrate, appoint and purify on April 3rd 2013 the most extraordinary event took place the Antichrist Francis had his men force their way into the papal household of Pope Benedict XVI and arrested him and his staff. His Holiness Benedict had told the world in an apostolic letter Christ had been revealed and his name Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, the single greatest and anxiously awaited announcement by a pontiff in history, the return of Jesus as predicted in prophecy, come as a man like a thief in the night. Those of you who have been made aware of this fact it is all about the genetic key of the house of David which I have disclosed but moreover the stars overhead reveal a conformation of these facts that word should actually be confirmation but the conforming the conformation of the uh, reveal the facts what you will learn in this presentation is the position of the planets in the last few months starting in February then April then May 19th and 20th followed by May 23rd all in 2013 the number 888 is prominent and as you know 888 is the value of the name Jesus in Greek gematria it is all about the solar eclipses the great pyramid distances from point to point and to do so we need a reference to read the numbers. We do this with the James Strong's exhaustive concordance of the King James 1611 Bible. For Catholic readers, you may feel this is a sin or against the church, or well, what you think makes no difference, as I am God, and let me be straight to the point, it is not an election. There are 8,674 words listed in the Old Testament. 8.674 years is 3168 days. 3168 is the Greek gematria, total value for the words Lord Jesus Christ 800 888 and Christ 1480 to total 3168 in the Greek New Testament there are 5624 words the beginning and the end in Greek that is the alpha and the omega is a reference to the Greek alphabet mentioned four times all in Revelation 1.8, 111, 21, 6 and 22.13. Add all of those numbers together and you have 2558 and this number in the Greek concordance is to maltreat, suffer adversity, torment, which is my life in this evil generation. The word of God made flesh must suffer torment and adversary in this second coming at the end of days. Then the light shines, and the light was Pope Benedict XVI when he recognised me as Jesus. Amen. 
On May the 19th and 20th, the distance to Saturn from the Earth was 8.88 astronomical units, Jesus 888. On the dates, the 19th and the 20th, are biblically Isaiah 19, 19 and 20, which is a reference to the altar to the Lord in the midst of Egypt, that is the Great Pyramid. The duration of light for Rome on May 23rd was 888 minutes at those rise and set times. Jesus again, and the distance to the moon on that date was 366,613.96 kilometres. 3.666 is the Earth divided by the moon width. Place a ring around the Earth and the moon together, we have a distance of 31,680 miles. This profound number again is Greek gematria for Lord Jesus Christ, 3168. The distance around the Earth at my former residence of 13.13 .13 years is also the same number in kilometres. And the line that is <coughs> that <coughs> latitude where the home is measures 5,813 kilometres from the South Pole. Now the significance of the number 3666 is that it is the ratio between the width of the Earth, 7920 miles, divided by the Moon, 2160 miles, equals 3.666. But if a circle is drawn around the two, one on top of the other or side by side, the circumference or perimeter is 31,680 miles, Lord Jesus Christ. The Moon Earth also reveals the Great Pyramid. The face angle of the structure is what is known as the pi angle, 51 degrees, 51 minutes, and 14.2 plus seconds. The moon centre point to Earth equator. Pi angle, 51, 51, 14.2 plus of it. <clears throat> Human bones, when dried, ground up into powder, like all materials, when poured in a pile, gravity will cause the sand or the gravel or salt or iron ore, etc., to form a pile with a certain angle. Desert sand near the pyramid forms a repose angle of 43.3 degrees. 433 is God in Hebrew. So you have all of the sand surrounding the Great Pyramid telling the world that this is God. That's what the Great Pyramid is all about. It is his altar. So in the case of human bones dried and ground to a powder, the angle of rest or repose is the same. And the pyramid angle being the Earth-Moon angle and the pyramid face angle at 51 degrees, 51 minutes, 14.2 plus seconds. There's that circumference around the two of them, 31680 miles, and then the human bones as ground powder equals the angle of repose, which is the same as the face angle of the pyramid. Now, May 23rd, 2013, Rome time, 11.11, Rome sunrise to sunset, 888 minutes, and there's the lineup of all of the planets there. So we've got 51, 51, 14.2 seconds and a formula. Add each one of those numbers together equals 116.2, which is the width of the antechamber of the Great Pyramid. 116.26 pyramid inches and this is the key to the House of David. It's a genetic key. The number of the antechamber 11626 is reflected in time as weeks, days, years, distances in time. January the 11th, which is the rebirth date of the Christ, 1944, to April 23rd, 1966, the day that he married Lucifer in the flesh, when he was 1162.6 weeks old. Then again, his rebirth date to March the 19th, 1947, which is the rebirth date of Mary Magdalene, Michelle Nye. The age difference is 1162.6 days. Then May the 4th, 1968, the birth of the Christ's first daughter, to December 20th, 1979, the birth of the third child of Mary Magdalene, Rhiannon, the difference in years is 11.626. February the 25th, 1935, is the birth date of the Christ's older brother to his rebirth date, January 11th, 1944, is 8.88 years. So you've got key to the house of David. It's a genetic key between family members, the Christ family members and uh, the 888 number reflected in his own family members as well as uh, sunrise to sunset distances. In other words, measuring his creation. Here is the antechamber in the Great Pyramid, the circumference of the circle when it's um, drawn 
around a, a square within the antechamber. The antechamber is 116.26 pyramid inches wide, is a circumference in pyramid inches of 365.242, which is the number of days in a solar year. And this is so. Then the same number, 31680, 3168, Lord Jesus Christ, as time, it must identify a significant event in time. And it does. For it will be the age that Pope Benedict XVI will be on my 70th birthday. His birth date, April 16th, 1927 to January 11th, 2014. His Holiness will be 86.74 years old, being 31680 days. We must take into consideration the days between the two different birth dates. So 3168 days after Benedict's birth to the day before my birth, and Australia is ahead of Germany by one third of a day, so eight hours, then 8674 is the word count in the Hebrew Strong's concordance. And there it is. The one on the right being the days between. Now the King James 1611 Bible was translated. Then King James and Edward de Vere withheld authorisation until the king had read it. It took 18 months. And in that time, the handwritten manuscript b script became what we now recognise as Shakespearean. Edward de Vere was none other than the playwright William Shakespeare. In the 1830s era, an American scholar and his colleagues interpreted the Hebrew Old Testament and the Greek New Testament and then put it all together into what is called the James Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the 1611 King James Bible. There are 8,674 words listed in the Hebrew section and there it is there. So 8.674 years is 3168 days. 3168 Greek gematria is the total for Lord Jesus Christ. Now in those days, we're talking about the days of King James, the Puritans were so powerful, a playwright was in physical danger and certainly the Earl of Oxley was not a man who was foolish enough to openly be known as Shakespeare. He left several clues to his identity if one was totally familiar with the King James Version. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? is reflected in Isaiah 63, verses 1 through 5. Let's look at verse 2. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? The number 635, expressed as years, is 23,229 days, and the age my grandfather Francis Golightly was when I was reborn on the 11th of January 1944. My grandfather, Francis Allo, wishes Golightly, being 23,229 days older than I in years, is Isaiah 63. Those number of days being 63.6 years. So therefore we read Isaiah 63 verses 1 through to 6 and it is talking about the return of the Lord. He's all covered in blood, wearing a white garment, which is the Holy Ghost of immortality. It's worn like a garment. He's pissed off the last 69 years of evil and suffering caused by children, wives, relatives and every Jew, their offspring being the churches. The Lord crushes the earth's people like a man treading a wine press while wearing a white garment. Quoting Isaiah 63 verse 1. Who is that that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Bosra? He that is glorious in his apparel, travelling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the winepress alone, and of all and of all of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my raiment. For the days of vengeance is in mine heart and the year of my redeemed is come. And I looked and there was none to help and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me and my fury 
it helped me. And I will tread down the people in mine anger and make them drunk in my fury. And I will bring down their strength to the earth. Now just mentioning here that the strength of mankind is their mind which has been taken off the earth to be thinking about aliens and all kinds of other distractions out there in the heavens when it's all happening on the earth because God is on the earth. Now, in Psalms 46, you count 46 words from the beginning and you've got the word shake. 46 words back from the end of the verse is the word spear. So it's a message in there, shake and spear. It's all about Shakespeare being the author. Now in Romeo and Juliet, two men are talking. One uses the Lord's name in vain. He says, Jesu Maria, the Essene name of Jesus. The Catholic Church venerates my mother and her virgin birth. The virgin birth, as I am the creator of all, then as you all know, Adam sinned and blamed Eve, who was not with Adam, when he was told not to eat of the fruit. Then the serpent comes along and convinces him it is her fault. She, Eve, was totally innocent. The purpose of the test was simple. If you want to live forever in paradise, all you have to do is obey God. So man falls and Cain murders his brother and they end up with death, which equals John 8:44, and that is all about the Jews, sons of the devil. As a virgin, there is no male involved, and I, being the father of all, cannot have a father. Some say God cannot conceive a son within a virgin. Well, let me point out something that's blatantly obvious. I, the Almighty, created the universe. It is likely I can do whatever I please. So on this point, Mary herself was of a virgin, as was her mother, Anna, a no-male conception. Gabriel appeared to Anna, who was an old woman and had not conceived, but she did so in the Garden of Gethsemane. Now we are going to be in Edinburgh, Scotland on the 29th of May 2013, staying on Lynx Gardens. I was conceived on Gardeners Road in Sydney and in Mary, September 11th, 3 BC, in the Garden of Gethsemane as she was within her mother, Anna. Here is the antique crown of David, Golightly. Now in April 1943 and April the 6th, being 1910 years after I had risen from the dead, on April the 5th, 33 AD, allowing for the time difference, my mother, Daphne Golightly, conceived of the Holy Ghost myself on Gardner's Road in Rosebury, Sydney, Australia. I have uploaded a PowerPoint video to the YouTube about two weeks ago. So now when I spoke to His Holiness via live emails, recording the question and answers with precise times to read the stars, I could not make him fully aware that the Pope elected would be a murderer and the Antichrist. Now, as the Pope Benedict XVI is such a sweet man, I did not want to warn him of the coming move against him. I did make mention to his confidant and friend, the now missing, presumed dead Father Giuseppe, that I felt he was totally cut off from what the forces of evil had achieved, and as such he had no idea. He had to endure and to learn that whoever walked out of the conclave, the best thing to do was invest in a 25 cent bullet and save the world further aggravation. All cardinals knew I was back, we told many. They must inform all others and not hold a conclave as the whole point of a pope is to represent Christ. So if he is here, then no more church elections. The age Francis was when he accepted the position falsely as pope, March 19th, 2013, was also my third wife's 66th birth date, Michelle Nye. She is Mary Magdalene reincarnated. Date of Francis' birth, December 17th, 1937, so we have his age on that date. He was 75.24 years old. From the Hebrew Dictionary, a crushing, specifically a murder cry, slaughter, sword, leading uh, to the Hebrew Dictionary 75.23, 
properly to dash in pieces, that is, kill a human being, especially to murder, put to death, kill, manslay, er, murder, er. He is well known in Argentina to have supported various juntas, and he himself ordered, on behalf of a military junta, $200 million worth of the French Exocet anti-ship missiles. The French missiles were responsible for many English sailors' loss of lives during the Falklands War. We see the first mention of this form of murder in the Lucifer Torah, Francis Age. Numbers 35.16, and if he smite him with an instrument of iron so that he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. This is from the Hebrew Dictionary 7523, which was from Francis's age of 7524. Again, to dash in pieces, kill a human being, especially to murder, put to death, kill, manslayer. So, Francis's age, 7524, March 19th, 2013, when he was crowned. John 844. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your, of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it, and that equals the Jews. Greek Dictionary 844, Automatos, from 846, and the same as 3155, self-moved, automatic, spontaneous, of own accord, of self the Jews of the Talmud Zionism are all self-motivated. It is their self-accord, not appointed by God at all. Appointed by their God, Lucifer. The following drawings have the duration of the sun for May 23rd for Rome at 888 minutes with the moon at three, sorry, 366,613.96 kilometers distance as well as the combined distances to the planets that were in a line from the Earth out to Jupiter for a total of 11.36 astronomical units. That number, Greek, is Antichrist, Gog. Francis' name in this life is Bergoglio. Bergoglio. Here are the planets from the Earth out, 11.36 future Antichrist in the Greek Dictionary. And when you add the distance to Saturn for 20.27 in the Hebrew Dictionary, that word 2027 is slaughter, be slain, slaughter. Revelation 28 and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea, which equals Abraham's seed is the sand of the sea. Gog, 1136, of Hebrew origin, 1463. A name for some future antichrist whose name just happens to be Bergoglio, now calling himself Francis. Star above, 1136, Greek dictionary, the, the number of the star that was above for 1136 minutes is numbered YBS 6550, but in the Greek dictionary 655 is detest utterly, abhor. Pope Benedict arrested April 3rd, 2013, the same date as the cross in 33 AD, by thugs of Francis forcing their way into the papal office. And we have emails from these thugs saying that Father Giuseppe has been murdered, he was the best friend of Benedict the Sixteenth, and uh, so we got those after he was taken to Sicily and held in prison for about a week uh, from the night of the arrest, April the third. Now these goons are so stupid and computer illiterate that not even Francis had any idea these threats would be recorded on email servers and copied on our computers, and then printed and handed out. Lucifer's letter admits he arrested the pontifical household for proclaiming Jesus is back. Saturn, 8.88 astronomical units from the Earth on that date. April the 3rd, the date of the crucifixion, 888 Greek gematria for Jesus. So you've got the Jupiter uh, at 88,800 miles wide, Jesus again, and at a distance of 5.55 astronomical units, and that's the Christ word count. So you've got Jesus Christ, April the 3rd, 2013, in the stars and the planets over the earth in the heavens all telling the story. 
So we have the arrest of Pope Benedict and his staff, Father Giuseppe and his best friend and confidant, Sister Maria Della Rosa, his biographer, both of them missing, one of them presumed dead. We have emails from the Pope's computer sent by the men working for Francis, calling themselves his investigators. These emails state that if we come to Rome, we will be arrested and that Father Giuseppe is no longer a priest. His crime, supporting his Pope Benedict and charged with treason against Francis. This was all on the night of April the 3rd. Now, with the inspector's email, uh, we trace their IP address to Sicily and from there an elaborate series of emails purporting to be from a house that Francis had Father Giuseppe confined in and in the house was his old friend. Detectives and guards watching the house and yet there was a computer and a phone in there so Giuseppe could secretly use to get messages to us. So stupid it defies common sense. Finally, an escape is planned and they made their escape. A friend had picked them up in a car, but the car was to run into a ditch. Father Giuseppe makes a run for it and is gunned down with a hail of bullets from Detective John Eleonora, three bullets in the head, three in the chest, and two in the ribs like a cross. Watching were the two friends. One was shot in the leg, but then ignored, and so as they watched a team come out from houses with hoses and washed the blood off the road, tidied up the body, took it away, whatever. After this, the two managed to free the car and made a run for it while getting to a safe refuge a friend here, a priest. While there, the emails flowed in and then a knock on the door and then, surprise, surprise, Father Giuseppe's head was delivered in a box. <sighs> this is the area where the emails came out of. Um, they came from the, same, the, the, the emails alerting of uh, Father Giuseppe's death by the witness, etc., came from the same place that all the other emails had, so they hadn't moved. Now a brief look at the pyramid and how it all ties, ties together. Without going into great details, since the Jews dominate all media, books and publication, it also, they, the Jews, suppress the facts regarding the pyramid. I have made many YouTube videos on the subject and all have been removed. A glaring statement of forbidding Christ. Search protocol number 14, we will forbid Christ. The protocols are now available on the internet, so the tide is flowing towards truth, building up into a flood like the days of Noah. The pyramid capstone is missing. Archaeologists have measured the structure and concluded the height is identified by the value of Isaiah chapter 19 verses 19 and 20. The following calculation of the sum of Hebrew letters in these two verses are the same as the height measured. Convert to British feet, we have 5454.56 feet. So the Hebrew total of all those 30 letters is 5449 which is the same in pyramid inches. So when you multiply by a British inch, 1.00106, divided by 12, you get feet, 454.56. There's the list of the 30 letters in Hebrew gematria, same height as the pyramid up to the missing capstone. So the descending passage now of the pyramid is 26 degrees, 18 minutes, 9.3 seconds, and face angles, 51 degrees, 51 minutes, 14.2 seconds. So when you add each of those numbers, total 77.7072, and the word city is found in the King James 1611 Bible, a total of 777 verses. My arm span is 77.7 .7 inches from fingertip to fingertip. Here is the... Um, number of references for the word city found in the KGV. So on May the 10th, Australia time, the most profound annular solar eclipse occurred over Western Australia. The latitude for reading the prophetic messages of solar eclipses must be plotted as the moon overtakes the sun along either the 25 degree north or south latitudes. The moon cycles between the northern and southern hemispheres crossing the 25 degree latitudes at a sharp angle which allows for pinpoint accuracy when measuring. So this reveals time, distance to the Earth from the Sun and Moon on the Earth's surface precisely. And here we are measuring back to the rebirth location of the Christ at 105 Rothschild, Sydney, Rosebury, Sydney, Australia. 3490. This is what it looks like out in the heavens. Now the position of the Moon at 155 uh, minutes and 55 seconds, Rome time, places the moon between the sun and the earth at a latitude and longitude of those numbers there. 
The location of the moon above the earth is near Indonesia. However, the sun's shadow hits the earth along the 25 degrees south latitude by 116.26 degrees east. And we have a distance in miles between the two. And the distance is 4143 miles or 6666 kilometres. So we look this number up in the concordance Hebrew Dictionary 4143, which is foundation and is the distance to the North Pole from the Pyramid 4143. So the story, the truth, is laid out in the measuring of God's temple, which is the earth. Strong's Concordance, Isaiah 28, 16, Therefore thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious corner stone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. So the stone is the missing capstone. 4143 Hebrew Dictionary, foundation. So the English measures are world engineering measures from ancient times derived from the pyramid. As the Western English-speaking world dominates engineering, the English Anglican Bible may appear to be superior to the Latin, but is not. It is a trap for Francis. So it is not a matter of superiority. It is a matter of the English measures, which are based on the numbers within the altar to the Lord being the Great Pyramid. Inches, feet, yards, miles, etc. It is not about defeating Christianity. It's about defeating the Jews. And by this method, I bring the Catholic teaching of the Blessed Virgin and the Concordance of the KJV 1611 together and unite the world. The position of the moon over the Australia eclipse of May 10th, 2013, the shadow is not the same as the actual geographic position of the moon on the Earth itself. Therefore, when the shadow passes the 25 degree latitude, the moon is not over that point, but the shadow is. In this eclipse, the position of the moon was up near Indonesia. And so we have a point we can measure from my rebirth location in Sydney to. And there it is. 41436666 kilometres. There's the longitude along the 25 degrees south latitude, which is the width of the antechamber and the ages, distances in time between three different family members as the key of the House of David. So the position of the moon over Australia on the eclipse of May, the shadow and the actual geographic position of the moon is a distance between them of 3674 in the Greek dictionary, which means place or time together. So what are we talking about? We're talking about the moon and its shadow together. And then 3674 in the Hebrew dictionary is confirming. It's a companion. So we have companion at the same place and time. That's what a shadow is, a companion <laughs> in time and space being of the one. Here we go, here's the measure of everything. This is what it looks like, like a laser on the sun through the center of the moon into the Earth's position. Now that distance, 3674 kilometers, it is 1982 naut nautical miles and that in the Greek dictionary is <laughs> to cast upon, <laughs> to invest with preternatural influence over shadow, to cast a shade upon. <laughs> this is how God works. Now the distance therefore tells us it is the companion and a distance in nautical miles, 1982, and over shadow or to cast a shade upon. The distance to the moon from the earth caused the eclipse to be a golden ring and this indicates biblically the wedding between the alpha male God, the one and only in the flesh and the offspring of woman. All souls are female and are therefore the espoused of the Lord. So first we have to prove Benedict XVI is the true vicar of Christ and Francis the devil incarnate, Gog the Antichrist. We move over to Rome. This is where we are now. We're in Rome, been here for almost a month. At the same time, my disciples worldwide are so devoted, they work 24-7. They eat, dream, and work at it. 
and it is these few out of billions who are the end time saints. Now we are headed for the United Kingdom on the 29th of May 2013 for a few days, having set the stage for Rome, so what will the move to the United Kingdom reveal? My ancestor, the father of Henry Golightly, King William I, the Lion, was a prolific builder. His daughters married the barons named Marshall. He was born on December 4th, 1143, the same year Malachi was in Rome, where he received the vision of the next 111 popes, ending with Benedict XVI. I have made it very clear. My task has been to offend all churches and the Jews who dominate them all via various covert methods. They dominate all media and in their stupidity make it very easy to fulfil prophecy and be rejected. The Protocols of Zion, it, a Talmud-inspired work of appalling evil, makes it clear in Protocol 14, we will forbid Christ. Other writings they speak of promote more potential damage to themselves. Some writings state candidly, if the Christians discover what we plan, they would kill us openly. Another states, if the Christian world wakes up, influenced by one lone genius, we will have lost. It only takes Christ to outthink them. Think them. It is that easy. No matter how many years they have had to prepare, it is a slam dunk outcome. They lose. They lost at the cross. They lost with Benedict the Sixteenth. Quite frankly, I am taken back by their stupidity and their inability to read prophecy. They can't quit now, as they, being Lucifer in the flesh, the devil's own, face a fate they themselves have attempted to cause you all to suffer on the earth. Like the tables in the temple, I simply let them do the work and then turn the tables. The kingdom is set up for evil. I reverse it and we collectively build paradise for the children. Quoting from Matthew 12:31, Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. The Holy Ghost is the soul of Jesus back as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Brian Leonard, go lightly, Marshall. For this reason, every knee shall bow, and those who do not will face utter destruction and hell in the bottomless pit.